Hey friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to go through and take what you have done in a Power BI report inside of the Power Query Editor and migrate that over into a Fabric Dataflow Gen 2. Let's get to it. Hello, my name is Austin Leibel, and I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works, and I am one of the trainers who is focusing heavily on the latest, greatest, newest topic from Microsoft around data analytics, data engineering, and data science, which is Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is an all-in-one encompassing end-to-end -end analytics tool that allows for different users inside of the Power BI service to go through and leverage different transformational, different orchestration-based, different ingesting ways to go through and connect to your data, make transformations, and load that either into a fabric warehouse or into a fabric lake house. Now, maybe you are interested and you've seen some of the videos around Pragmatic Works talking about fabric before, and you're seeing more and more interest around your organization around moving over to fabric, but are a little hesitant about doing so because you think it's going to take a lot of... Uh, upscaling and learning and trying to figure out how to go through and uh, take what you've done already and what you have uh, available to you now and kind of make it make sense in the fabric workspace. But let me show you one way that makes it very easy to do so. I am inside right now a Power BI desktop report. This is a report I just generated. It's a sample data, it has some like adventure works data in it. Well, data it has isn't so important. What we want to focus on is how do we take what we have here and how do we migrate the transformations that we already have in order to clean this data up, in order to prepare it for analytics and make sure that it's clean for downstream usage and consumption? How do we make sure that our different analysts and different Power BI report builders in our organization can have access to that very easily inside of something like a Fabric Lake House? Well, let me show you one way to do that. I'm going to go first over inside of my Fabric workspace, and I'm going to create a new Dataflow Gen 2. And I'm just going to kind of walk you around the user interface there for a moment. So join me over inside of the Fabric Dataflow Gen 2. All right, here I am inside of my Power BI service workspace, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Dataflow Gen 2. I have a couple different places I can go through to create this item. I can either go to my new items here and choose the new options or more options, or I can change my persona inside of the Power BI persona switcher over to the data factory or the data engineering persona. I'm gonna go over to the Dataflow Gen 2 uh, workspace here that I'm in right now, go to the data factory persona, and then I'm going to create a new Dataflow Gen 2. Now, by clicking on this item, it's going to create this item for me. It might take a few moments here for it to load. So this is a perfect time to tell you if you are interested in learning more about Dataflow Gen 2, make sure you like and subscribe to our videos because we have much more content coming in the future around this. So if you're not already, like, subscribe, and make sure you got those notifications on as well so you get the latest greatest videos from the Pragmatic Works channel. All right, now here I am inside of the Dataflow Gen 2 experience. Now, what you might be thinking right now is, hey, Austin, this looks very, very similar to what I've experienced before in the Power Query Editor. And that is correct. That is because Microsoft wanted to make a nice, navigable interface that you can go through and walk and do all the different transformations that you've done previously with the Power Query Editor and Power BI Desktop. So using all that nice Power Query, M Query language type transformations and use that experience here in Fabric to make transformations to your data as well. You need to go through and do ETL, extract data, transform data, and load data. But what if you've already done many of those different cleanup steps before? Well, maybe you need to go through and you need to simulate all those steps just right here. And technically you go through and rebuild them step by step and kind of have a size screen by screen comparison and look, oh, I need to do this now, I need to do that now. That's one way you could do it, but that's a little bit complicated and a little bit messy in my opinion. One very, very easy way to perform this would be to go over inside of your Power BI desktop and go inside of your Power Query editor. And you can do this by clicking on the transform data button. 
Now you can see I have about eight different queries over here in my Power Query editor, and I have about 10 different applied steps to each of these different queries. There's a lot of different changes that have been already had and made, and maybe you have even more for yourself. So one thing that we can actually do is I can copy out the query from my Power Query editor, and I can paste it into the Dataflow Gen 2 experience. Now you can either do this with one query. Let's look at the date query, for example, here. I'm just going to right click on the date query and select the copy option and then I'll go back over to my data flow gen 2 and I will just say control V to paste that here and once I do that you'll notice that it starts to load everything I have now one thing you're going to have to do as a part of this is make sure that you do have the ability to authenticate to your source of data so you can see here it says my credentials are required to connect to the SQL source I just need to go through and configure a connection connection. So I'm going to go and just use my credentials here. This is a publicly available Pragmatic Works uh, uh, sample database that we have available. So I don't mind showing some of the uh, information here for us. Let me make sure I get my password right though. All right, I'm connecting now. And I have that ability to now go through and see all of the applied steps that have been made to this source of data. We can see that over in our applied steps on the right hand side of our screen. This is going to simulate everything we just did and part of that Power BI desktop report, but just inside of my Fabric Dataflow Gen 2. That's so awesome. That's really simplifying the need and the, the, the workload to migrate over into a Fabric Lake house. So if your department's trying to say, well, there's a lot of work that's gonna go into this. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. There is, of course, but it can be made a lot easier as well. Microsoft has done a great job with this experience. Now, that's one way you can do it. The other thing you can do is I can take all of my different queries by multi-selecting them, by you know, clicking my shift button and uh, highlighting everything I want. I can copy those out with a control V, and I can also paste them again inside of the data flow gen 2 experience and i just migrated all eight queries at one time technically two different times but just showing you that you have the ability to do one query or multiple queries all at the same time from here all i would need to do is start loading this data into a data lake house i would go uh, query by query and say well i need a date table i would load that to a new data destination and i'll have a video on that coming in the future Hopefully you've seen some of the nice user interface friendly uh, experiences that Fabric is going to provide for users. If you already have done a lot of work with on-premises Power BI desktop and creating reports to connect to the cloud and you don't want to go back and have to recreate those, you don't have to. As long as you can copy and paste, which I know all of you can do, as long as you make sure you have those credentials set up, there's going to be a one-to-one -one migration. There might be a few nuances here and there for the most part. It's going to be a nice, easy experience for you. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about Fabric and some tips and tricks, stay tuned. Make sure you're liked and subscribed. If you want to scale up more on Fabric a little bit quicker, definitely check out some of our on-demand learning content coming around the Fabric experience, as well as our Fabric Bootcamp, where we do a four-day intensive course around learning Fabric and getting from zero to hero inside of your Fabric workspace. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.